It is what some people enjoy on Friday nights, a game of poker. And while gambling may be illegal in Texas, card rooms are popping up in Houston. Our Grace White is here to explain what you should know before you play. The chips are down and the bets placed. But this isn't Las Vegas, it's Houston. Well, I was a poker player myself. And the Posto Poker Club is Daniel Kiebert's dream. We have doctors and lawyers and decision makers and, and a lot of influential people from the city of Houston that come in here. But is it legal? Houston City Councilman Greg Travis says no. I guess my number one thing, and I, it's still legal under state law as far as I'm concerned. People say it's a gray area. Uh, I think it's black and white. But if you look at Texas law, Chapter 47 of the Penal Code outlaws gambling. But there's an exception. If you're doing it in a private place, there's no economic benefit. And all the players have the same risk, meaning they don't play against the house. Poker rooms like Keybirds are operating under that exception. So I think there's a perception disconnection with what we actually are and what some people may assume us to be. So how does this business work? They charge a $10 initiation fee, $15 to walk in the door, and then an additional $15 an hour to rent a seat to play. These seat fees, mm -hmm. some people might say, well, that's an economic benefit. Our opinion of that phrase is, is it's strictly there to eliminate commercial gambling. A state representative wrote this letter asking the attorney general to weigh in on if those fees they collect are allowed under the law. But before that letter was sent, Post Oak Poker was able to get a game room permit from the city of Houston. Councilman Travis says it's a permit. He questions. We're trying to figure out why they gave the permit because those permits were meant regarding basically those, those uh, video game rooms and trying to prevent those from occurring. And so I don't even think it, that it pr applies. So how did they get this game room permit from City Hall? When we called city officials, they told us they issued two of these poker permits last year because of an old ordinance mentioning card games. But now they're not issuing any more until the attorney general's opinion. Until then, the owners of Post Oak Poker will continue to roll the dice. Poker does belong in the spotlight. It's not something that should be tucked into the underground or into the back corners of the city. Similar poker rooms are operating in Austin, but in Dallas, they've been shut down. The Texas Attorney General is expected to issue that opinion by the end of July. Mia. Quick question here, Grace. So is there a cash prize? Are there actual winners? Yes, definitely. You can win hundreds or thousands of dollars, but remember the house does not take a cut. It's all depends on what those players put in. Mm, very interesting. We'll continue to follow this. Grace White, thanks so much.